Good day, Roxy here representing SA Argus Laser Machines. Today we're going to have a quick look at the SA Argus 1060 Laser Machine and we are actually going to do a trophy for you and explaining the different materials, what we use and a little bit of insight as to how the machine and design works. For today's exercise we have chosen a basic trophy from the SA Argus online design store laser-templates.com For demonstration purposes we will be cutting with the lid open but as a standard rule the lid will always be closed when a job is running on a laser machine. So with a handheld we can direct the laser head onto the material and position it to where we call our start point. Most important thing, because materials do have inconsistencies, always check that you have focused your laser before cutting. What the machine is doing now is what we refer to as scoring. So you can use scoring as a basic guideline if you have more than one element on a um, template and need to actually just have a guideline to show you where all the elements need to go. Right now the machine has moved over to cutting. We're currently cutting a 3mm material but this specific machine can cut up to 10mm of wood. Next we switch off the exhaust, switch off the air assist and switch off the laser. Now we're ready to remove our design from the laser bed. Engraving panel is perfect for trophies, name badges, indoor signage and a range of other applications. It's made up of a two-toned double layer plastic that eliminates secondary processes such as paint filling as you simply engrave away the top layer. So as you can see what the laser machine is currently doing now is it is engraving on the engraving panel. Now this being gold on black it means that the black is what's going to come through with the engraving and the gold will remain at the top. Next up, very small, very quick, it is what we call the coloured MDF melamine. It is a two-sided MDF melamine coating, which then eliminates painting when you're done. It's quick, it's easy, and it's very nice to clean, and the end result's beautiful. Next up, we're going to use mirror acrylic. It does have a plastic sheeting at the top so that once you are finished with your job you're able to pull it over and that's how you get your mirror effect. When working with mirror the best advice is to actually turn your sheet over and cut and engrave on the back. to remember that no matter what material you're cutting or how many jobs you do each time a new sheet is put on the laser bed always check your focus you're now ready for assembly. Please always keep in mind that it is very important to have the right adhesives when using the different materials. 